what's up guys? Sunny, sunny, sunny day today and Mac Daddy Michael's here, as you guys can see. So let's take a look and see what he's got. Come on. Almost Friday. We almost there. <sighs> I just got back from Tampa, you know, and man, I'm not wanting to do nothing else this week. <laughs> I got so much junk to do from being gone down there and ball game tonight. I'm ready for the weekend, I promise you. We'll be back down, we'll fly in back down there before too long. Uh, we got family about 40 miles from there. We try to go down every year and see. So. Cool. Are they back like toward Orlando way or? Uh, Bradenton. Cool. Pretty much just across the causeway down there. Yeah. So. It, uh, we generally always fly into Tampa and then rent a car and just drive over to the beach. So. Tampa Airport is nice. I mm -hmm. like it. We, uh, I flew in. Going in down there, it was gravy. Coming back, like we had all kind of issues. Was running late with a plane getting into Houston where we changed. And uh, the boarding started at 410 and at 401 I was still on the other airplane. I made it. I was sucking wind when I got there, but I made it. Generally, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get a flight directly from Birmingham to Tampa. Man, I, I'm not driving three and a half hours or three hours to Birmingham to get on an airplane. I'll just switch. And Which for us, out of two plus, I mean, that's an hour and 45 minutes you sitting at the airport. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just, Memphis is really, really easy. I hate Memphis Airport. Do you? I'd I rather fly out of Memphis than I have. Memphis or O'Hare is my two favorite yeah. to go through security at. Yeah. Well... What all cool stuff you got? I got this in the other day. Um, it's a Vim product. But mm -hmm. I like Vim. That's the part number on it. But it's a quarter drive extra deep socket set. 8, yeah. 10, 11, 12, and 14. Wish it had a 13 in it. Mm -hmm. But That's a nice set. A uh, quarter drive set. I like how it's got the big bold numbers on them mm -hmm. as well. But then it also comes with this cool little kit. That little ratchet. You need to put bits in for one. Or you can put the quarter drive shank right. on it for your socket. And look how little it is. Mm -hmm. Or you can put your ratchet in it, either one. That's a sharp little rig right there. I think that whole set is on sale for like 80 bucks. Man. So, so you don't. That's the sockets and the little ratchet for mm -hmm. 80 bucks. Oh, that's a good deal. And so you don't lose this little piece deal. You can always just, even if you don't leave it in the box, you can pull the foam tray out that it's in. You just put the foam tray in your box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a nice set right there. Mm -hmm. You did good picking that out. Just something different. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, every now and then, on you know, you can't beat an extra deep quarter drive. Heck no. Because I saw a lot of the extra deep 3H drive sets that we've shown before. As long as the, you know, the air-to-air -air clamps are and... Man, it's, it's nice to have that extra deep socket every now and then. That's cool. Yeah, they just put a 13 in it. Yep. But that's that's alright. Because to me, a 13 is a lot more common than a 14. Well, it's getting close to the meetup time. It is. For sure. For so, sure. Everybody needs to come on out. It'll be a good time. Bring my pocket full of money and do some shopping. Unload the Mack truck, huh? 
get better fuel mileage going back home. <laughs> you will. They won't. Have you sold a bunch of those, uh, the new DeWalt's yet? I think I've sold five or six wow. kits already. Yeah. So. I think I'm going to end up getting one myself. I kind of. Like I got two more at the shop and I got one with my open kit on the truck here. Um, I don't know, you may have seen it before, but I just got this new Power Pro kit in too today. Sweet. We like power probes. Oh, that's the soldering gun, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Rechargeable. I just, this first one I've had in, and they're rechargeable. I sell a lot of the butane ones. But. They put nice kits together, they really do. Mm hmm. It's a little bend up stand you can keep me using. How long does them supposed to run? I've not read on it. Um, I've talked to a couple guys that have had them and they enjoy them. I'm going to say they hold up pretty good. Because um, like with some of the butane ones they say they get a little too hot and liable to melt some of the other wires and, right. and what. Not, but and it also has a light on it. Yeah, you hold down on you it. Can't beat that. So that little bit that it was on was already hot. <laughs> that's that's good. That's a good sign. So but it's got that. Tips. It's got that tip. It's on it already. It's got like your heat shrink tip. Mm-hmm. And a little flat tip. Yeah, I like the flat tip. And you can always clean them off. Um, Have to watch crackheads be trying to take that out and use it in their pipes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know, butanes are nice. They've been around a long time, but it never fails. You always run out of butane when you need more butane. Every time. Versus just being able to go plug it back up. Mm hmm. But it sucks to have to sit there and can't finish your job because you're waiting on it waiting to on recharge. It to charge, you know. At the same time, so you know that they just each, buy one of each, right? Buy, yeah, buy. and you're good to go anytime, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But there's something new I got. Getting fan season, got the DeWalt fans in. Yeah, I actually had to use my battery fan the other day inside a truck because it was, man, I don't got to leaking. You know, when you when your <laughs> head gets to leaking, you get irritable, you know, and that's never a good thing. I tell you, those things, I mean, if nothing else, just getting, if you're inside of a vehicle or whatever, just getting some air circulation. Yep. Does a lot. Oh, show. Sure. It really does a lot. Got the RBRT L keys. Yeah, got some of them in yesterday. Those are good because they put that ball end on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we have a several maintenance departments with the car manufacturers in the area. Seems like more and more of their robotic stuff is going to hex fasteners. Mm -hmm. And. I mean, I'm, I'm having people that I don't even normally service that are, call, you know, looking me up and saying, hey, I need some of those RBRT hex keys. <laughs> so. I like the L keys or the T handles too, the way they do, you know, the way they put that little stubby on the handle in. That way you yeah. got the long part to break it loose. Some with. of them bought nice. those. Uh, but a lot of them like these, just therefore they can put them in their little service bag and mm -hmm. run all over the plant. So those are nice. Because I've got the hex keys and the uh, torques, torques in them. And, you yeah, know, they're handy, handy. Especially sure if you use them a lot. 
I like that T handle, man. It's just, it just feels good, you know. Mm -hmm. I like the way. But my favorite RBRT kit is a 121 piece bit set. Yeah. And it's. Anybody that, whether they, you know, hobby guys at home, whether they're, you know, working on clocks or guys that are into, you know, building ARs or anything like that. I mean, or that if you ever tried to put kit. any of the box furniture together mm -hmm. or anything that you buy that's on display and they hand it to you, it comes in a, like, you know, they can fit a whole house in a shoe box now. Right. And those cheap Chinese fasteners, man, they just don't take any torque and strip them out. And, and they give hundred... you a little wrench that's about that thin and about that long <laughs> and an L key that's about that long yep. to put together with. Well, that 121 piece bit set is the, like every guy should have one of them in his house. Like, Not in the shop, in the house. In the house, yeah. Because you're going to have to put stuff together and take stuff apart. And I'll tell you something else. They work really good too. Especially like when you're, at Christmas. Like your kids' toys, mm -hmm. you know how they'll put the little screws through the, the bottom, you know, when they're in the box. Yep. You have to take those little hex screws out. You know, those sets go very, very small, too. Oh, so yeah. They cover a... All I'm saying, guys, just, just buy your 121-piece bit set. They're high. Like, they're high. Like, they're high. <laughs> but, but they're worth it. But, I mean, really, if you break it down, it's not that bad because it's 121 pieces and a big chunk of it is the ratcheting the ratcheting screwdriver that's in there but if you take it out let's just just pull it out you know and say it's right. worth twenty dollars you know and it's they sell for a lot more than twenty but let's just take it out and say it's worth twenty bucks mm -hmm. then you divide all the bits up you know you're paying about two dollars a bit right you know when you look at it that way so and they're a really good ratcheting screwdriver too yeah they are um, nice. i actually keep them in stock um just to sell the ratcheting screwdriver because i have mm -hmm. a lot of people say do you have a good ratcheting screwdriver what are the screwdriver they're probably what 60 bucks at least ain't they i believe so so yeah. i mean you take that cost out of that you know 60 dollars for the ratcheting and screwdriver then that probably knocks it down to a dollar fifty yeah. to you know dollar seventy a bit in that kit so. and a lot of your ratcheting screwdrivers too they either ratchet to fasten ratchet to loosen mm -hmm. this one too you actually have a i like the lock like position. a lock position too <laughs> yeah i was gonna say neutral but a lock position there for yeah. you to use as a regular screwdriver mm -hmm. that's the way so, i run mine most of the time yeah but they, i like them man they're they're good screwdrivers screwdriver. but that little bit set man it's got ball ends it's got torx hex robertson bits um it's got some bits, I don't even know what it is, like flathead security bits or something like that, yeah. you know. I mean, I don't even know what some of them are, but, you know, hey, I got them if I ever see a goofy-looking fashioner. I feel like I can pull it out of there because they got be security good. torque, security hex. I don't remember what all. It's got pretty much anything you're mm -hmm. going to need in there. For sure. Great little set. For sure. Well, I guess we're going to get in here get back after it and i gotta talk to michael about one or two things i'm wanting to order and uh we'll catch you guys later so y'all get prepped for the weekend because we just got one more day By the time y'all watch this video you got one more day to go through hell and then you're free again like always guys thanks for watching hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes if you're not subscribed click the button just press it you guys have a great week. Weekend. See ya.